Life in Pompeii Before the Eruption Before the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, Pompeii was a vibrant and prosperous city within the Roman Empire, boasting a diverse population of around 11,000 to 15,000 residents. Located strategically near the Bay of Naples, it served as a crucial hub for trade and commerce, connecting various parts of the Roman world. The city's economy flourished due to its fertile volcanic soil, which supported abundant agriculture, particularly vineyards and orchards. This agricultural productivity was complemented by a bustling port, facilitating the export of wine, olive oil and other goods. The streets of Pompeii were lively with markets, shops and public spaces where citizens engaged in daily commerce and social activities. Advanced Urban Infrastructure Pompeii's infrastructure reflected Roman advancements in engineering and urban planning. The city featured an extensive network of streets laid out in a grid pattern, ensuring efficient movement and organization. Public buildings such as the Forum, Basilica, and Temples were central to civic life, hosting political, judicial, and religious activities. The presence of well-maintained roads, sidewalks, and drainage systems underscored the city's commitment to public welfare and hygiene. Notably, Pompeii's water supply system, supported by aqueducts, fountains, and public baths, provided residents with access to clean water and sanitation, contributing to a higher standard of living. The Grand Theatre and the Amphitheatre, which could accommodate thousands of spectators, highlighted the city's rich cultural life, offering entertainment ranging from theatrical performances to gladiatorial combats. Daily Life and Culture Daily life in Pompeii was characterized by a blend of work, leisure, and religious devotion. The city's social fabric included a mix of wealthy patricians, middle-class merchants, artisans, and slaves, each contributing to the community's dynamic culture. Wealthy citizens lived in elaborate homes adorned with frescoes and mosaics, while public spaces such as the Forum hosted markets, political gatherings, and festivals. Religion played a vital role, with numerous temples dedicated to gods like Jupiter, Apollo and Venus, and household shrines, Lararia, found in many homes. Citizens participated in various festivals and rituals, which included processions, sacrifices and communal feasts, reinforcing social bonds and cultural identity. Education and literacy were valued, with evidence of schools and private tutors for the children of the affluent, indicating a society that appreciated knowledge and learning. The Catastrophic Eruption The eruption of Mount Vesuvius on August 24, 79 AD, unfolded with terrifying suddenness, catching many of Pompeii's residents unprepared. The initial phase of the eruption sent a column of volcanic ash and pumice high into the sky, which then began to fall over the city. This phase lasted for several hours, causing roofs to collapse under the weight of accumulating debris. Panic ensued as people tried to escape, some fleeing towards the coast, while others sought refuge in cellars and buildings. The second and more devastating phase involved pyroclastic surges, fast-moving, superheated flows of gas, ash and rock that swept through Pompeii and neighboring Herculaneum, obliterating everything in their path. These surges were lethal, suffocating and incinerating those who remained. The city was buried under meters of volcanic material, preserving a tragic snapshot of life frozen in its final moments. The Destruction and Preservation the violent eruption left Pompeii covered in a thick layer of ash and pumice, which played a crucial role in preserving the city for posterity. Buildings, artifacts and even organic materials such as wooden objects and foodstuffs were encapsulated in the volcanic debris, preventing decay. A sudden burial created an anaerobic environment, which helped to preserve the delicate structures and everyday items that would otherwise have been lost to time. 
This unexpected preservation has provided modern archaeologists with a wealth of information about Roman urban life, culture, and technology. The preservation of Pompeii offers an unparalleled glimpse into the daily lives of its inhabitants, capturing details of their diet, occupations, and social interactions. The Struggle for Survival In the immediate aftermath of the eruption, the survivors of Pompeii faced immense challenges. Those who escaped the city found refuge in nearby towns and cities such as Naples, New Syria, and Rome. These refugees had to cope with the loss of homes, possessions, and loved ones. Many arrived with little more than the clothes on their backs, relying on the charity of friends, relatives, or the Roman state for sustenance and shelter. The influx of refugees placed a strain on surrounding communities, which had to accommodate the sudden increase in population. The psychological trauma of witnessing such a catastrophic event also had a lasting impact on the survivors, as they struggled to rebuild their lives amidst grief and uncertainty. Rebuilding Lives and Communities for the survivors, the process of rebuilding their lives was fraught with difficulties. The loss of property and economic resources meant that many had to start from scratch. Some survivors sought to reclaim their status and wealth by engaging in trade, farming, or other economic activities in their new communities. Historical records suggest that the Roman state may have provided some form of assistance, possibly in the form of financial aid or land grants, to help the refugees resettle. Over time, new social networks and support systems emerged as survivors integrated into their host communities, contributing to local economies and cultural life. The resilience and adaptability of the survivors played a crucial role in their ability to overcome the challenges posed by the disaster. Accidental Rediscovery Pompeii remained buried and forgotten for nearly 1,700 years until its accidental rediscovery in 1748 by a Spanish engineer named Roque Joaquin de Alcubierre. Initially, the excavations were more treasure hunts than systematic archaeological endeavours, but they soon revealed the remarkably preserved state of the city. Buildings, artefacts, and even the remains of the victims were found intact, offering an unprecedented glimpse into ancient Roman life. Subsequent excavations, conducted more scientifically, uncovered streets, homes, public buildings, and everyday objects, all preserved under the volcanic ash. These discoveries provided invaluable insights into Roman urban planning, architecture, and daily activities, allowing historians to piece together a detailed picture of life in Pompeii. Systematic Excavations and Discoveries The systematic excavation of Pompeii began in earnest in the 19th century, spearheaded by archaeologists such as Giuseppe Fiorelli, who introduced innovative methods to uncover and preserve the city. Fiorelli's technique of creating plaster casts from the voids left by decomposed bodies provided a poignant and detailed view of the eruption's human toll. This method allowed for the creation of lifelike representations of the victims in their final moments, capturing their expressions and postures. The excavations revealed a wealth of information about Roman domestic life, including the layout of homes, the use of space, and the presence of household items. Public buildings, shops, and streets were uncovered, providing insights into the city's social and economic organization. Preservation and Archaeology the preservation of Pompeii has been a focus of extensive archaeological work since its rediscovery. Early archaeologists developed innovative techniques, such as creating plaster casts of voids left by decomposed bodies. This method, pioneered by Giuseppe Fiorelli in the 19th century, produced detailed molds of the victims, capturing their final moments with haunting realism. Modern archaeological practices have further enhanced the study and preservation of Pompeii. Techniques like digital mapping, 
3D reconstruction and non-invasive scanning technologies have revealed new details about the city's infrastructure, social organization, and the catastrophic events of the eruption. Continuous efforts are made to preserve the delicate structures and artifacts from environmental damage and the impact of tourism. Advancements in Archaeological Methods Modern archaeology has employed advanced technologies to further uncover and understand Pompeii's secrets. Ground-penetrating radar and LIDAR, light detection and ranging, have been used to map the city and its surroundings without intrusive digging. These technologies have helped identify previously unknown buildings and structures, providing a more comprehensive view of Pompeii's layout and development. Additionally, DNA analysis of human and animal remains has offered new insights into the health, diet and genetic makeup of Pompeii's inhabitants. These scientific advancements have enriched our understanding of the daily lives of the people who lived in Pompeii, shedding light on their social structures, diets and even their interactions with neighbouring communities. Insights into Roman Civilization the excavation and study of Pompeii have significantly deepened our understanding of Roman civilization. The city's preservation provides a unique and detailed snapshot of urban life in ancient Rome, revealing aspects of daily living, social structures and cultural practices that written records alone could not convey. Pompeii's layout, with its grid of streets, public buildings and residential quarters, illustrates Roman urban planning principles. The discovery of household items, graffiti and commercial signs offers intimate insights into the lives of ordinary citizens. Artworks, inscriptions and architectural features have shed light on Roman religion, politics and economic activities, making Pompeii an invaluable resource for historians, archaeologists and scholars of antiquity. Broader Historical and Cultural Significance Pompeii's rediscovery has had a profound impact on the broader field of archaeology and our understanding of ancient history. The site has provided a wealth of data that has informed and refined theories about Roman society, economy and culture. For example, the detailed records of Pompeii's agricultural practices, trade networks and urban infrastructure have contributed to a more nuanced understanding of the Roman Empire's economic and logistical capabilities. The well-preserved artifacts and buildings have also offered insights into Roman technological advancements, such as construction techniques, water management and public amenities. Furthermore, the human remains found in Pompeii have provided invaluable information about the health, diet and daily life of its residents, offering a more comprehensive picture of ancient Roman civilization. 